Hey, this is Bruce, your Boomer Consumer, and this is my Mac Mini desktop setup for 2019. So with the introduction of the 2018 Mac Mini, I've been able to put together the video editing system that I've wanted for a really long time. A few of the items I'm going to show you are no longer available, or there are newer versions available. So uh, I have the list of hardware that I use in the description below, as well as my Amazon affiliate link to these products. So let's get started on my setup. The, the whole system is on a Tribal Designs computer desk in the light walnut finish. It's really a solid desk and it measures 55 inches wide and 23.6 inches deep. For this setup, it's a perfect size for me. It has a steel frame, it's really easy to assemble. However, somewhere in the future, I'll probably replace it with a motorized standing desk. For a little added color, I chose the Aki table lamp, and it has a 360 degree touch sensor with RGB lighting. So I can change the color to add a little ambiance to the editing experience, or use it to enhance any video when using the desk as a backdrop. Of course, I can always use it just as a standard desktop lamp as well. For long-term storage of my video projects, I chose the Seagate Backup Plus Hub with six terabytes of storage. It comes formatted with NTFS, however Seagate includes the utility so it can mount with the Mac operating system. Besides being really quiet, this 7200 RPM drive also offers two USB 3.0 ports, which I can use with my SD card reader. The drive has been really rock solid performers since I bought it in February of 2018. I still use the original Apple trackpad when I'm using Final Cut Pro uh, for scrolling through the timeline or zooming in or out. Although it's not rechargeable, still a pretty solid performer. My favorite keyboard is from Keychron. I chose the 104 key K1 with blue switches and it's configured for the Mac. This is an ultra thin keyboard that uses a blue switch in a low profile form factor and it connects to the Mac mini via Bluetooth or you can use the included USB-C cable. Although it has 18 different RGB lighting effects, I keep it with just a single green backlight as I find most of the effects too distracting. My mouse is a Logitech MX Master and that allows you to pair it with three different computers and go at least a month or more on a single charge. Now this mouse can track on just about any surface and the Logitech software allows you to customize the buttons to your heart's content. It's simply the best mouse I have ever used on a day-to-day -day basis. I happen to be a fan of really large mouse pads and the Inatech one foot a black mouse pad fills the bill nicely. So it measures three foot in width and a foot in depth. It provides an excellent surface for my keyboard and mouse, and because it has a rubber backing, it won't slide around on my desk. Now, the newest addition to my setup is my Dell UltraSharp U2718Q 4K IPS monitor. I spent months researching 4K monitors for under $500, and there are a lot of trade-offs. I wanted an IPS panel with good color reproduction, with a solid stand, and thin bezels. And although it is advertised as HDR10 capable monitor, it has a peak brightness of 350 nits, which is bright enough for me, but may not provide the HDR color volume to please many people. However, with 99.9% .9 coverage of the sRGB color space and a delta E of less than two, it can reproduce excellent color. It also offers HDMI, DisplayPort, Mini DisplayPort, as well as USB 3.0 upstream and four USB ports. Got one of the best stands in the business as well. I keep my working media on the Samsung T5 500 gigabyte SSD, and that connects via USB 3.1 Gen 2 to the Mac Mini. The speed is excellent with writes of about 493 megabytes per second and reads of 530 megabytes per second. So I have no issue editing 4K files directly from the drive. It also has a very nice metal finish. It's shock resistant and it's proven very reliable. It does have a very short cable as it was intended to work with a laptop. Now the heartbeat of my system is the 2018 Mac Mini with the six core i7, 512 gigabyte SSD. I upgraded the RAM to 32 gigs as well. Combined with an eGPU, which I'll talk about later, this is one powerful video editing workstation. I use Final Cut Pro 10 as well as DaVinci Resolve on this Mac and the performance is just incredible in this small package. I love the small form factor of the machine and how quiet it is. I can barely hear the fans even under maximum load. The four Thunderbolt 3 ports and two USB 3 ports make adding peripherals a snap. I've never been a fan of the iMac and I have no need for the MacBook Pro anymore, so this is the perfect Mac for me. As mentioned earlier, I have the Razer Core X eGPU with an MSI Radeon RX 480 which has eight gigabytes of GDDR memory. 
I intend to replace this in the near future. I also purchased a 2 meter active Thunderbolt cable that allowed me to relocate the Razor X to the floor for the time being. The Razor Core X is simple to set up and has real power for video editing. I've not tried gaming with my Mac so I really can't talk frame rates. However, I get zero drop frames in Resolve and Final Cut Pro. Now for recording voiceovers, I use the Focusrite 2i2. It's a USB audio interface that I can use with my dynamic mic. It has really strong preamps and you can record with two mics at once. I can also monitor my audio when recording voiceovers. The mic that I'm recording this voiceover with is the Audio-Technica ATR2100 dynamic mic. Now it features both XLR and USB outputs. Now I'm a big fan of Audio-Technica and I find this mic sounds very close to the much more expensive Heil PR40 which many podcasters use. This mic is attached to a Heil PL-2T boom that has been extremely durable. It allows me to easily move the mic into nearly any position that I may want to use. To monitor my audio, I use the Sony MDR-7506 large diaphragm headphones, and these give me really accurate audio when I'm editing my videos. And these have also been used for decades in the radio industry for voiceover work. I keep these on a Sadie's eSports gaming cradle. It's a pretty sturdy stand, however, it's really out of place with the rest of my setup, and I'll replace it with something else pretty soon. That's my 2019 Mac Mini setup tour. It's a real workhorse that should last a good long time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.